Total scan. If I had a dollar for every email I got, what transducer should I use with my sim ride? I'd probably be a millionaire. What? All right, so let's just do a quick video on total scan and what exactly is total scan. Well, basically, total scan is this right here this machine, and it's just a single transducer that gets hooked into either your Go series, your NSS series, or your NSO series. All right, it's a single transducer that does both structure scan, down imaging, and echo. All right, we're gonna go into that in a little bit of detail. And I just want to explain to you exactly what kind of functions that the Total Scan has right now. It has regular broadband frequencies, 83 kilohertz and 200 kilohertz. And the Structure Scan, it's 455 kilohertz and 800 kilohertz, all right? Total Scan also has two chirp frequencies, all right? Medium chirp and high chirp, all right? Low chirp, you're really not gonna need, that's for really deep sea fishermen, uh, over 600 feet deep, and you're not gonna really need that. So you have medium chirp and high chirp frequencies and remember, you have the broadband frequencies in there too, the 83 and 200, okay? So let's look at how this thing is set up and let's talk about it a little bit now. All right, folks, I'm going real technical with you right now, all right? With a little drawing here. This is what we're gonna do now. This is how the transducer, let's see if I can do this, will sit off the back of the boat and there's the mount right there. So that's the transducer, horrible picture, but I'm gonna draw the transducer as you're looking down on it from the top down. All right, so this would be the boat where it's locked into the boat. And let's look at it right now. At the base of it, you'll have a ceramic element like that. Down each side, you'll have side ceramic elements and down the middle, okay? These side elements are shooting structure scan out the sides. This middle guy is shooting down for your down scan, okay? This right here is the one that's the 83 kilohertz to 200 kilohertz broadband. And it's also the medium and high chirp. All right, look at that. I feel like I'm a uh, math teacher here. All right, folks, I hope this isn't getting too complex here. This is gonna be your echo. And again, that's the 83 kilohertz and 200 kilohertz broadband. And it also has the medium and uh, high chirp, all right? So this ceramic element, the circular one, is gonna be shooting your cone down, like that, down to the sea floor, okay? And let's just do a smaller cone in the middle. That would be a high chirp, okay? Medium chirp has a much bigger cone at the bottom. It shows more bottom. Higher chirp has a smaller cone, more definition. That's that. So those are the, those are your uh, two things. But the total skin gives you both medium and high chirp, okay? What I run is the TM150, and the TM150 is the bigger bigger one that does the high, uh, does medium chirp only, okay? I run an LSS1, but now there's the LSS2 structure scan transducer this guy right here all right that is strictly structure scan and, and down scan only okay so that's basically what you're looking at so you're looking at the total scan transducer has incorporated into it the echo and then it also has the two structure scans on each side and the down scan imaging those are long ceramic elements that shoot the sound waves out and these are the ones that do the, the MRI. They'll, these are the ones that do the MRI type of cut of the seafloor. The circular one, which is your echo, does the cone that shoots off the back of your boat, the cone. So it's shooting a circular cone down at the bottom. And remember, the medium chirp or the, or the, or the high chirp, the, tri, the high chirp has a smaller cone and the medium chirp has the bigger cone and it has more coverage on the seafloor, okay? Pick your poison when you want to go out there and use it. Total scan gives you the opportunity to use both of them. That's, that's the key here. So you can switch from medium chirp to high chirp and see which one suits your fancy. That's basically your, your choice, all right? Again, I'm a medium chirp guy. It works out perfectly for me, but who am I to say anything? So that's what it looks like inside, in, inside the uh, total scan transducer. Again, it has the echo element at the base of it. And then it also has the structure scan and down scan ceramic elements there to provide structure scan and down scan, okay? So it's pretty cool. It's got 83 kilohertz, 200 kilohertz in broadband. It's got 455 kilohertz and 800 kilohertz in structure scan. And then it has medium and high chirp, all right? So you're gonna have to go through and play those things however you want to do it. One of the things though you have to know is that 
you cannot simultaneously do structure scan and chirp at the same time. Basically what structure scan in my, in my business is fishing is you go out there and structure scan puts you on the hunt. Structure scan gives you the ability to go out there and map out things and see where your structure and your, and your rock piles are so you can target fish. As you do that you'd have the echo set to 200 kilohertz or whatever you choose, 83 kilohertz, look what, what works for you. So you're gonna set that at 200, whatever, whatever you're gonna set the broadband at, that will make that structure scan work simultaneously. You could use both screens and do your hunting that way and once you have those pieces and you know those pieces you've marked them with structure scan and down scan you know they're holding fish you can switch over to chirp now and put the medium chirp or the high chirp on go check the pieces again look at them in high definition and see if those fish are holding on there and that's something for you to think about so so total scan it's it's like a $300 transducer as opposed to the TM150 which is right around $290, $300 also but with that you would also need the additional LSS2 transducer which is another $300 and a module to do, use that so total scan there's an absolute reason to have it. it it gives you the ability to only install one transducer especially if you're like a recreational quasi fishing person that's the perfect application for you because it gives you the ability to go out there use structure scan down scan to find your places where these fish live and then and then go back over them and look at them with chirp medium chirp or high chirp however you want to do it and it's it's an easy installation it's one installation all right so that's something to consider just want to take a second here to thank you guys for all your emails your instagrams your texts your phone calls regarding the simrad products all right however simply simrad that's gonna be a wrap okay i just don't have the time to do these videos as you can see there's a lot put into these videos and uh, i have other things i gotta do when it's just that i pro staff for somebody who's since left the, the company and uh kind of add the loop here i appreciate all the stuff here please contact uh, simrad tech over here at this phone number right here these guys are awesome they know their stuff absolutely Simrad is the finest electronics machine out there I've used many many different companies and I really feel strongly about how good their product is so it's with a clear heart I can say go out there and continue to buy Simrad products all right go to simradyiling.com any questions please contact Simrad tech support I just don't have the ability to answer all these things at once I, I appreciate the comments and the positive stuff that I've been doing but it's a lot of work I'm sure you can imagine that all right we'll be doing more videos next week we're gonna be doing the striped bass video how to and uh, that's it all right thanks for watching keep go cheese outdoors again if you have a second subscribe if you can and like if you like make a comment or two and thanks for watching keep go cheese outdoors gotta go